Hey there, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, we are going to check out another custom ROM for Samsung Note 3. Exynos is very handy. So the version, the ROM I'm going to use is only working on Exynos variant SMN900. So if you have different Note 3, you should not flash this ROM. It can break your device. So this is an Exynos variant device and I have reviewed like Android 11 based ROM for this device. And also I have reviewed the stock firmware of this device. Both of them are garbage. So this actually is a Bipar OS based on Android 7.1, which is actually a really good ROM for this device. So this ROM I have been using for three, four days now, and I haven't faced any major issue with this ROM actually. And it is completely usable ROM. So you should check out this ROM. So let's go and see first what's going on with this device. So it's based on Android 7.1.2, as you can see. And you can see that SMN 900 is a model number, so it's only working on SMN 900 only. And the security patch level is December 5, 2018, and it's a very old ROM. As I said, it's based on Android 7.1.2, and there are not really much ROM available for this device. I'm really looking for a ROM based on Android 10 for this device, but it's really hard to find a usable ROM for this device, actually. So, and the link of the most of the ROMs available on online are already expired so you can't really download most of the roms but yet we have a rom which actually working perfectly fine i can say and let's go and check out what's going on so basically this rom doesn't come with g apps so you have to install it separately and i will put the link of the g apps and also for the rom in the description below you can download it from the end and flash it flashing process is very easy just wipe the device and also format it and just install the ROM and the GApps. And I did not install Magisk here. You can install Magisk on this ROM too. So sometimes if you install Magisk, the device may not boot. Sometimes it happens in custom ROMs, but you can try. So it another thing, a problem of this ROM actually doesn't come with any kind of camera application. And I have downloaded Opera, uh, Open Camera directly from Play Store, which is working just fine. And like you can take photos and videos without any issue using this camera app. And also I have installed a Gcam here, which I have downloaded from website directly. And you can take amazing photos with Gcam, but there is uh, you can't take videos using Gcam because it will crash the application. Rather than that, everything is working just fine. And if I go to setting option, if you go to like, more option nfc is working just fine if you go to tethering and hotspot you can share 5 gigahertz band wi-fi band as you can see here which is really nice actually and also like the network is working just fine as you can see here i'm connected in to wire network and the network did not drop actually last time when i was using the rom it was dropping the network but this this rom i haven't faced any kind of issue and if you are looking for customization, customization is also available in this ROM. So if you go to Venom, there are a lot of things you can do like logo, quick settings, and every little tweak you want to do, you can do actually. So, and also if you go to battery section, there are a lot of things going on. And lock screen, sound and notification system, a lot of things actually available. And also if you want, uh, soft keys on the screen if you don't like these keys you can do that but there is no gesture support because it's based on android 7.1 at least you need android 10 uh, rom so i'm looking actually android 10 based rom for this device and if i get one i will be uploading the reviews for that rom too i'm looking for it and also you have themes theme section here as this device actually having an uh, amoled panel so you can you know like use dark mode which is completely dark here not grayish dark so it's completely dark so it's quite good actually it's getting this and also you can choose the accent color according to your liking red blue or whatever and everything is working just fine here and also the wi-fi bluetooth and the data connection is working just fine one of the beauty of this ram actually is that it uses very less ram as you can see here currently Two gigabyte of the ram is free out of 2.7 so it's quite nice actually and it comes there is no blow dryer with this rom so if you want g apps you can install it if you don't want you just can install like third party uh, app store to download application but yet you can install 
GFs too. It's, it's up, up to your liking. And also, uh, the battery actually is doing pretty well in this ROM. As I said in my previous reviews, the, like the battery here actually is not really great in my device. The battery is faulty. As you can see here, I have connected the charger because it can die any moment. But when I fully charged this device and kept it for four, three, four days, the, de the device did not use um, much battery. Actually, it's, it reduced only three or four percent maybe within three, four days. So standby time is really amazing on this device and also uh, the auto brightness is working pretty well as you can see here if i turn on auto brightness it just reduces the brightness so auto brightness working just fine phone call is working just fine also the proximity sensor also the volume and everything working just fine even the pen is working really great here so there is no like uh, showing no nipple showing like you get with your Samsung stock ROM, but the pen works pretty well as like you are using in stock ROM. So everything was just fine here, no problem, and everything working. And there is one more issue with this ROM actually, which is a bug, but it is not a major bug, so it, you can ignore it. So if we charge the device, it will show that how much power it is taking. As you can see, it is not showing, it is showing. 1 ma only so it's it's showing the wrong thing here so that's one bug here and rather than that it doesn't come with gcam that's another thing rather than that, i haven't found any kind of issue with this ROM actually and also another problem with this ROM is it doesn't support safety net so that means you can't use any kind of bank apps here but i don't think it's a big issue here because no one going to use bank apps on custom ROM mostly and also it is an old rom like android 7.1 most of the bank apps will not support 7.1 but most of the application will work just fine on this and you can download it directly from play store like youtube and other things youtube doesn't work on android 5 so having android 7.1 is really great because most of the application does work like rather than bank apps so you will not have any kind of issue and it is uh, we are really lucky that there is from a bible for this device and make this device actually pretty usable in 2023 and as i said there is no box or anything like that everything working just fine notification light and everything and the camera is also working pretty amazingly and that's all about viper os 7.1 as i said i will put the link in the description below you can download it from there it's pretty easy to flash also so thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time